Hey guys, I wanted to go over Find That Lead. Find That Lead is a website that lets you input different uh, company names, different domain names, maybe different social media accounts, and it tries to obtain for you that person's email address. So naturally, that's a very useful tool. It lets you come up with um, leads that maybe you couldn't initially come up with. Uh, and it makes the whole process extremely simple. Uh, I've been using it for a little while and it's uh, gotten us some good results, though there are a couple of hits and misses. So if you if you kind of take the limitations for what they are, uh, it's actually a pretty cool tool. So let's dive right in and let's check out Find That Lead. So once you create an account, you'll be taken to the Find That Lead dashboard. The dashboard is composed of different tabs here on the top. You have search, you have social, that lets you search different social media accounts. So you can search LinkedIn, you can search Twitter, YouTube. You can also um, verify different email addresses. So let's say you have a collection of email addresses. You import the information into the tool and it tells you whether those email addresses are actually accurate. Then you have the email sender software, a part of the software. I can go a little bit more into detail about that. It essentially allows you to enter uh, create template, templated emails. So once you have a collection or a database of emails, you're able to easily reach out to the different contacts in your database. Then you have the prospector, which is really the tool that I really like. This allows this is a bulk way of generating uh, lists of leads in different industries, um, whether you know their name of the company or not. So this is probably the most powerful tool here. And then you have my leads, which is essentially you know, your leads, the, the collection of leads that the, prog the program has been able to verify for you. Over to your right, you have your settings menu, you have your downloads, you have your help, and you have your logout. So you can imagine some of these are self-explanatory. I just wanted to jump into settings real quick to kind of give you an idea of, of what that looks like. From here, you're able to you know, manage your users, you're able to look at your credits, uh, you're able to join the referral program. You're able to set up whether you want the prospector to only show you corporate emails. And that's very, very important because if you want to reach the right person, you're going to want to select corporate emails only. Sometimes, uh, especially in this program, we found that personal emails are hit and miss. And then finally, here's where you add your campaign accounts. These are the email addresses that are able to upload or email. Um, within the software in the email sender section of the program. So when you click on that button, you'll be able to set up your Gmail, your Office 365, your Outlook, your AOL, your Yandex, or your Salesforce account. So this is how you do it. I won't be going into that process, um, but if you go through it, it kind of walks you step by step on, on the easy ways, in the different ways that you can do that. All right, so let's jump right into the search tool. So in the search tool, you're able to do a simple search. So let's say I wanted to find out just give me all the email addresses for people working at Google. You will click on that and it will take a little while to search. The bigger the company we found, the longer it takes to load. So in, as you can see, this is going to take a couple of seconds before it gets there. We're going to let it run. Here we go. So now you it will give you a recent research, uh, list of search results. So you have here Peter Lara, the president, Paul Bar Baker, the director, director producer. Um, you have Mark Powell, the vice president of product management at Google, and then you'll have here their what they think it's the right email address. Okay. Now every time you click here to verify whether this is a real email address or not, that will cost you a credit. So the search that we just did also cost us a credit. So when you go back here into the into the AppSumo search. Uh, area, you'll find that we went from 1999 to 1998. Now, if we wanted to verify whether this is a working email or not, you would click here, verify, and that would then give you a an update on that email address. Now, that would cause us a credit. Now, you'll notice here that it guessed based on other people's email address that this is the correct email address. So, you have to take some of this information with a grain of salt. That's why it's important that you you kind of do your due diligence and your and you kind of take the time to find the right uh, the right kind of company. So let's do another search just to see. I wrote a couple down here just to kind of uh, you know take it for a spin. So let's try Microsoft or let's start Michaels. 
So Michael's, if you're not from the U.S., it's a craft store here in the United States. Can I spell Michael for the life of me? Michael stores. Here we go. All right. So then you have Sarah Hollenbaum. Sorry if I spelled misspelled that, uh, mispronounced that. So this is the director of digital marketing. Then you have Sarah Phillips, also a director director of digital marketing. So we're gonna click on verify. All right. It also gets this one. Click on this one, and it also gets it. So this may not be a good guess. We're gonna go now to Hobby Lobby. Let's see what they comes up with. We have the HR person. So let's click verify for that. And it's also guess. So it's still kind of, you can build a database with this information and you may get the right context. So let's try another company here. Let's try Endelman. Endelman is a big PR company, probably the largest PR company in the world. And let's do a search for those guys. So we have Shauna McCarthy, Associate Director. Let's verify the email address. And this one, it's pretty confident that it got the right email address. So what does that mean? What are the different confidence level means in the comps to find that lead? If you go to the help section, if it says it's correct, it's screen when the email has been found and fully verified. So they're almost 100% sure that this email is correct. Now, when it's a web email, it's more like an info at something. Then the high probability guess means that it's pretty sure that it's correct, but it's not 100% verified. So that's kind of how the search tool works. It's extremely powerful. I mean, here we just got almost 1,900 email addresses from Endelman. And you can further narrow it down, and that's what I'll show you what the prospector tool is to kind of see uh, how powerful it really is. You can export to your Google Drive, or you can download the results as a CSV file, okay? And the cool thing too is that because it gives you the results in batches of 10, you don't have to use up all the credits right away which is really cool. So social. So this one's also a little bit hit and miss. Um, and if, if, if you see the overall, uh, the overall consensus is that it's hit or miss, right? You're, you just have to live with that. So let's type in, let's type in Donald Trump, right? We're gonna go here and we're gonna type in LinkedIn profiles of Donald Trump. We wanna get Donald Trump's email address. And then we get Donald, dj at instagram.com now it's saying that it gets that okay we don't think that's a very good result so we think that that's that's actually not that great so we're going to take now this other pr person and we're going to put in their information into find that lead now you'll notice that here it, it feels that it has the correct email address now it knows that because those emails are usually pretty public like companies pr companies have their emails made pretty public so i just wanted to show you uh that it does work and that it does give you sometimes you have to it gives you the wrong answer sometimes it gives you the right the wrong answer so let's type in miss 5000 watts from this 5000 watts this is a prolific youtube uh twitch streamer so let's just uh, get their twitter url Let's say you wanted to contact Miss 5000 Watts because you wanted to sponsor her awesome uh, Twitch stream. You will go here, you will put in the URL, and you will search. So here again, you found that it guessed it, and when you look at this email address, it doesn't look like it's pretty accurate. So you're going to have to do some digging for some of these, this specific, uh, when it comes to social media especially, you're going to have a more difficult time because you don't have, you know, this, some of these people just don't have a website. So, but this is a tool that you can probably t try to use to see if you can at least get something, extract something from it. Uh, and this other tool here called the Email Verifier, basically what it allows you to do is just upload different emails and it'll tell you whether those email addresses are, uh, they're verified or not. It's a simple, it's a simple tool. I've never really used it because for the most part, once the email is in my in my email database, I'll just use the email database. And then something like MailChimp will just bounce back and tell me this email is not valid. So the email sender part of the program allows you to send an email template to a verified lead. So from here is where you take everybody in my leads section that's been verified and you send them a templated email. So I'll show you just, I created a, a quick CSV file to upload to kind of show you how that works. So here's my email address. Uh, here we go. I'm going to create a template. And then from here, 
I'm able to create this, uh, a different email template. So I'm going to say hello, uh, saw you list your listing on the website. Let's chat. And then from here you just create an email template. Hello, first name, I'm a big fan of your, and I wanted to reach out. And again, you just create a template that will generate, you know, that will you reach out to the to your lead about, that will kind of generate their interest. And there's thousands and thousands of examples of really strong template emails that you can use from a sales perspective to kind of try to secure a lead. So I would Google those and then use that as a starting point and use this tool to kind of do that. Now one, you know, you can preview the email here. So how's the listing? Hello, Hugo, I'm a big fan of, and I wanted to reach out. So one really cool tool that's included in the email sender that's actually awesome, and I'm really surprised that it's included on here is a signature maker. And from here, you can generate different signatures completely free. And as some of you may or may not know, it's actually pretty difficult to create email templates for, for signatures because the code for that is extremely complex. You have to use tables, you have to go back to the old way of doing programming, you have to use tables and things of that nature. So for example, here I can create my own email signature that I can just copy and paste into the template or I can copy and paste it into my Gmail account. It's awesome. So this is a super cool additional tool that they don't even talk about anywhere else that I think it's actually pretty neat. You're able to change the colors. You're able to change, look at this. You're able to change the template. So you can choose different templates. You can choose this one. You can choose this one. I, I picked this one. Um, you can change the colors. You can change the fonts, social media links, the size of the font, the image. So here would be this image. Here would be, a, if you want that logo to have a link, here would be the image of the person, how big you want the image to be. And it all changes automatically. Super cool. Uh, here you put information all you want all you have to do is just go I want this signature hold on you put in the position so um master of the universe five one 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 two 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 and then test at test.com and I want the signature that's it and then you just go like this you copy everything you can paste and you're done Super cool. So that's a nice little bonus that you send that leads you, uh, gives you. Then when you get to the schedule and send, you're able to select when do you want this stuff to happen and all of that good stuff. It's extremely powerful, it's super cool. It's a nice additional bonus to have a uh, signature maker built into the software. So then we come to the prospectors. The prospector is actually my favorite part of this whole package. Aside from the signature, and the signature is pretty cool too. But the prospector, it's where you can just search for something. Maybe you're looking for a marketing department for a marketing or a realtor. Let's say you're looking for realtors in in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So the way you would do it is you will create a listing. Let's create this uh, realtors in Fort Lauderdale. And here you will search the city. So we'll search Fort Lauderdale. And then so far, th there's about 50,000 leads in Fort Lauderdale. And then you will select an industry. You can select real estate. And then now you're down to 13,000 people. And you can select a different company size. So let's say you want companies are somewhat small. You select these three different options, and then now you're down to 4,300. And you can kind of see the different uh, the different leads you have. So uh, Rodriguez from Ocean Club Realty, Elisa Gufaro, uh, she's the Broken Miami Realty Dreams. So, so this is pretty cool. Um, but that's a, lot of, that's a lot of leads. So we want to narrow it down a little bit better. So maybe you just want brokers. So let's say type in, uh, in the job position, broker. And then now you're left with only 300 leads that are just brokers. So that's extremely powerful um, and really cool tool. So I'm just gonna click generate list. 
and obviously this process is going to take a little while so I'm not going to sit here and show you but this it's uh, it's probably my favorite part uh, as you can see this stuff is not generated because it will use up a credit right now we're down to one, 1983 credits and I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now generate leads and then if you keep you can do this on your computer or you can do it on their servers if you do it on your computer it'll be faster but it'll be done on your computer um, but you have to be around or for order for that to happen so you can click on that and then what that would do is it would go through each listing and it'll generate the emails for you and then give you a score that you can then use to email this, uh, the prospects and that's it that's find that lead as you can see it's a pretty cool software that lets you find leads well, for companies and different businesses all over the world and you know helps you build the database of, of, of contacts that you can maybe reach out to and grow your business so make sure make sure you follow the link down below if you're interested in find that lead uh, I get a small commission for every sale that happens through that link which will be really helpful for making this channel grow so thanks everyone and see you in the comment section